YouTube, what's good with y'all, man? ESTG just recently dropped this new tape. I listened to it, made a beat for it, so let's get right into it. So on the album, there were a lot of like simplistic beats. So that's the style that I went for. We got uh, three sounds in the, in the whole sample. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into the, the deconstruction. For the first melody, I started out in Electra X right here, uh, cause I wanted to use like a pluck sound. So I went to the DMARTS volume one pack right here, use this preset, start out in 144 uh, BPM in C sharp minor. And uh, this is what I laid down. So start out with this little like arpeggio right here. Start out on uh, C sharp and on C sharp right here. Added a little bass note underneath it to add some uh, some low end to the melody. And then I placed this G sharp down right here, copied it over and uh, put it up an octave. Went back to the C to the A. Uh, kind of used these tension notes right here, the, the half steps like I explained in uh, previous videos. And what these half steps do is uh, they create a lot of tension right here because it's in the same scale and it goes up half a note. Uh, I've explained this plenty of times. And instead of the C sharp being on this note right here, I pitched it up an octave uh, to kind of add some variation to it. Next what I did is I copied it straight over but i pissed this last note down to kind of make it sound a bit more unique uh, again yeah, yeah next i just copied that straight over uh three more times right here and that's the the main melody that's it but one thing i did is right here you got two c sharps playing right after each other so what i did is i got the the first note and i um kind of cut it out a little bit so this note doesn't like bleed over this note if that makes sense uh, so for the effects on that start out with the basic eq just kind of cleaning it up a little bit uh lowering some of the low mids and boosting some of the high mids right here next i wanted to add like a little delay to it so i went in uh, fruity delay three and got this setting right here and after that just wanted to add some space some ambience to it so i went to uh, for hall of vintage right here and i believe this is the the stock preset but i just lowered uh, the low cut a little bit so it doesn't get too muddy uh, in the low end so after i had that laid down went to electra x again went to the nick mirror and pario bank right here and i got uh, this preset right here and i just copied the melody straight over uh, and that sounds like this but as you can hear those those two melodies didn't really go well together uh, but I really like the, the preset right here. So what I did is I went to the, the effects on that preset. Uh, start out with the basic EQ, cutting the lows out right here. Uh, making some space for the for the other melody we laid down. So next I went to Effectrix and I got the Beckery's vocal preset. Uh, and with the first melody we laid down, that sounds like this now. And I like the way how that melody started out, but I didn't really like uh, the rest of the melody. So next what I did is I rendered that melody out right here. Uh, as you can see, and I cut the first little part off uh, where it kind of stutters, if that makes sense. And next, what I did is I just copied it over three more times uh, and added these effects to it. Start out with the shaper box, panning it out from uh, left to right and put a Valhalla finish verb on it to, uh, to blend it in with the other sample. So with the main melody, uh, it sounds like this now. that really added a lot of bounce to the melody but it was still kind of muddy in my opinion so what i did is i went into keyscape right here and i got the la custom c7 wash preset and i turned off the reverb and to add some tempo to the melody right here i just uh, followed the root notes the c sharp pitch it up an octave pitch it down an octave uh, and play with the velocities a little bit so all together with the first two melodies we added uh, it sounds like this now For the effects on that piano, start out with the EQ, boosting some of the high mids right here, and once again, uh, added the same for Hall of Finish for a preset too. So lastly, I don't know if you can count this as a, as a melodic instrument, but uh, I added this tubular bell for my drum kit right here. It's in the perk section, the, the tubular preset right here. And I just laid one note down right here, the C sharp. Uh, and I put some delay on it, this preset right here, and some uh, vintage verb once again, uh, so it didn't sound as dry. And that's just a little accent that I, uh, that I added to it. Sounds like this. So that's nothing crazy. It's just uh, a little tubular bell with some uh, some delay and some reverb on it. For the structuring of the melody right here, we got the intro, we got the hook uh, with the main melody and the little counter melody playing. Then uh, at the second part of the hook, the piano comes in. Then we got a 16 bar verse right here. Got the main melody and the piano for the first part of the verse. And then the second part of the verse, what I did is I got the main preset, the main uh, melody we laid down at the beginning. And I just pitched it up one octave. So uh, now it sounds like this. 
like I said, just uh, an octave higher. And then we got the tubular bell hitting on every eight bars uh, throughout the whole beat. As for the drums, I really wanted to keep them simple too, since the melody already had like a lot of space to it. Um, that's why I kept the drums simple too. So I started out with this uh, basic crash hitting on every eight bars. Uh, sounds like this. That's the same as the tubular bell, just hits once on every uh, eight bars throughout the whole beat. Then I started the drums out with the basic snare and the basic hi hat right here. Started out with the basic two step, but added some rolls to it. Um, but I'm a, I'm a play it first, so this is what that sounds like. Like I said, I just started out with the basic two-step, added a couple rolls to it. So we got one right here after the, the first bar. Then I kind of made it go down, added a little roll at the bottom right here. Then I copied that over, but instead of this roll being on C, it's now on B. And for this roll right here, I kind of made it come in a little bit earlier, and I also put it on uh, on A. And at the end right here, I put this middle note to uh, to B to kind of switch it up a little bit, and then I uh, copied that straight over. So after the high end and the snare, went and got an 808, and I uh, laid this pattern down right here. And the way I laid that down is I started with the basic bounce, got these notes right here. Um, basically the same exact pattern as the, the second part, uh, except I cut this note up in half to kind of switch it up a little bit. So that's basically the same pattern on uh, both sides. And then at the end of every four bars right here and right here, I kind of added a little roll to it. So for this one right here, I went into uh, one sixth beat right here and I put this little roll uh, down. Then I pitched this C sharp up an octave, uh, made it go down right here. And then I um, went and put it on uh, G sharp right here. And the reason I put this on G is to kind of switch it up a little bit. Uh, otherwise all the notes will hit on, uh, on C sharp on the root note. And in my opinion, that's a bit boring. Then at the end right here, I added this little accent note and I pitched this up an octave, but left this little uh, gap in between. And the reason why I did that is uh, when you put the envelope on this little box shape right here, it creates this little like stutter effect at the end. No, it sounds like this. And that just adds a little twist to it. So next I went into my jump kit again, got this snare right here. And uh, I kind of added some bounce to it, kind of filled up some empty gaps. Um, got this pattern right here, basically just copied that straight over to the second part. And that sounds like this. When I laid that counter snare down, when I got this open hat, which only comes in on the second part of each hook, and I just added that for some ear candy. So as you can see, the velocities are very low, and it comes in twice each uh, each bar. So with the the other drums, it sounds like this. And because it hits twice on every bar, uh, that's the reason why we let it come in on the second part of each hook. Otherwise, it would get uh, very busy. And after those open hats, when I got this uh, triangle for my drum kit. Lay this down right here, and I just copied it over, made it come in twice. Um, it's just some some ear candy once again, so it's like this. Like I said, it's just a little accent that I added to. And this beat is really the proof that you don't need a lot of melodies or drum sounds to make a full sound in beat, man. And of course, the way that you can keep like these simple beats interesting is uh, with these little like breaks right here. Uh, I took the hi-hat out, made a little cut right here. Also, we're taking melodies out, bro. Like we took the counter melody out right here to kind of make this uh, unique compared to the, the hook. Also, pitch this melody up right here to make it uh, sound a bit more interesting, a bit more unique. And with stuff like that, you really keep like simplistic beats interesting, if that makes sense. So. That's pretty much it. If y'all like the, the drum samples that I used in this beat, by the way, that came from my uh, Rookie Season drum kit, it's available. First link in the description, so make sure to get that kit. Uh, like always, bro, I want to thank y'all for watching. Make sure to let me know in the comments what y'all trying to see next on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're close on hitting 6K, so really want to thank y'all for that. Uh, like I said before, man, make sure to check out my kits in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, join my Discord community. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. So that's it for me today, and y'all stay safe, man.